What's cracking Jump Nation family? It's your boy here, Rushi S, aka the Jump Rope Coach. Welcome back to another episode of the Jump Rope Lab People where I take your videos, I go online, I search around and if I come across a really good video or anyone that needs a bit of help, I'm here to basically showcase your video and then maybe go outside, give you a few pointers. But sometimes, in certain instances, I find a good video, a really good video um, and sometimes from people that I already know on social media. Today we are showcasing a very, very talented young girl from the north of England, I believe. Her name is Megan, a very cool supporter of RA, but actually she is she doesn't need a lot of help that uh, we're well, gonna see on the on the screen in a second right she doesn't need a lot of help she's got a ton of good skills does a lot of good things when it comes to skipping and i just want to showcase her moves her techniques and she also throws in a very cool behind the back cross which i'm going to go outside and try for the very first time so you can have a bit of you know kicks and giggles in a second right all right gonna pull out the video guys and i'm gonna maybe pause it here and there but straight off the bat you can see she's using a ra ignite map big up to you man good choice of mat here and what I love about her moves right now, you're gonna see it guys, is just the fact that she's so fluid, effortless, and just seamless with her timing and rhythm. Watch the behind the back, oh man. Behind the back cross guys, we're gonna try this in a second. But what I love to see here guys is the footwork. I always talk about it man, footwork is king when it comes to skipping. Megan's got it down here, and she throws in a few different moves, nice little smile at the end as well. Really, really cool man, she's a really cool girl. She's featured on our kind of videos as well, doing voiceovers and things, talking about the RA community, which I love. Right, so I'm gonna pull it back. I'm going to pause it in certain areas, okay? Just so you can get an idea of what's going on here. So first of all, she's doing kind of like the behind the back side swing um, EBs right now, really nice and clean. And she goes into a little combination here with a few kind of side swing crosses. Um, what's really good guys, when she comes to setting up this behind the back cross, which is the move that I want to kind of talk about just there, right? Notice how she kind of gets her jumps in time. You can see that she's kind of like ready for the right time, the right moment to get this done. And that's, that's the key thing about this video is that when you're trying to learn new moves, when you want to kind of perfect them is you want to really know you want to get that kind of muscle memory built into your body like how this move needs to come like the timing of it like you don't want it to kind of be randomized every single time you want to try and do a move you want to know that your body is going to work this move on this particular timing or this just after this jump so you'll see her just doing a few kind of boxer steps or kind of basic bounce steps here and then boom she smashes it out so i'm just going to roll this clip back a bit okay quick and easy right we're going to go through this let's see how she does this so basic bounce, basic bounce, and you're gonna see the timing. And I think this is the hard bit, right? I'm just gonna keep it rolling a little bit more back. So she's gonna jump through here. Hands will go behind the back now. So she's doing the jump. As she's doing the jump, the hands are already starting to invert in. And that's the key thing, right? Because that's what's probably gonna make this move work. And I've never tried this move, to be honest with you. Now we're gonna go outside in a second and give it a go. But you can see the thumbs pointing downwards. And what we're gonna try and see her do now is get this cross done which is so clean so as the rope's coming around her head making that loop that's when she obviously is trying to get this cross going on behind her back and what's really key is i can already tell now look at the length of her, her handle coming out of sort of her hand and we might get a little arrow on it in, in in the post edit but you can see a lot of the handle so she's obviously gripping down quite low on the handles to give her a lot of stretch so when you do a behind the back cross if you even do it without a rope it's really difficult and if you've got like lats and big tonk arms like me, obviously it's going to be really difficult. <laughs> but when you try and do this, right, grip down the handle, give you more excess rope to work with. And then she's going to, they are so clean, man. You can see her just kind of unrelease those hands from the cross and then back to normal skipping. So I'm going to take it back. You can see it in full replay, kind of full speed. Watch her set it up with the basic bounce. Boom. So clean, man. And it's just, that was the main point in this video. When I saw this video, we had to show this little little move and everything about it, man. The timing of the jumps, the rhythm coordination, like I said, this is how you guys really want to try and get to in your level of skipping. Um, it's good, prevents injuries. Everything looks neat, looks effortless, like I always say. And she's flying boss, man. So big up to you, Megan. Thank you for sharing this kind of cool move. I know this move's been around for a long time in the freestyle world, um, so I don't know who created it. However, we're going to go outside right now. You're going to have a few laughs, I'm sure, at my expense. We're going to give it a go. We're going to try and get these arms crossing behind the back. All right, we're going to head outside. Let's get the mat. Let's get the rope. Let's try and get it done, man. All right, let's give this a go. Megan, you make it look too slick. We're going to give it a go. Don't expect fireworks, people, man. 
tough tricks, man. This is hard. All right, how are we gonna do this? So, basic bounce. Let me try and figure this out. So, we're gonna go somewhere around here. We're trying to get across and jump through this and come back around. Whoa. The lats are big, bruv. I'm already starting to feel like the hit coming from this right shoulder. So, maybe I need to get this right hand a bit more around. This is a hard move, guys, man. I'm not gonna bore you to death, man, but you can have your little laughs right now if you want. Fuck, how's this, how's this going wrong? I feel like the right, maybe it's the left hand. All right, maybe it's the left hand. All right, a few more tries, a few more tries. Let's do it slowly. Ugh! I literally physically can't get more than this. I feel like I need to try and get this rope to clear this shoulder. This is a tough move, man. Right? I'm telling you, to get this crossed. Ugh! This is how much I can cross. I'm gonna try to do it from behind. All right, let's figure this out. I feel like I got the timing right. I can't get this rope around my body. I'll leave this one to you guys. All right, you know what? It's not working, it's really not working. I actually can't get my hands to cross like far enough. I'm a bit tight, man, I need to do some stretches. <coughs> All right, come on, pick this up. Maybe I need long handle rope. You wanna try it? Yeah? Huh? Let's just skip forwards. Oh, so you go around and in front? Yep. All right, this gimbal thing's hard. I'm confused. <laughs> um, I need to... Ah! <sighs> nah, it's, it doesn't work like that. Cross it. Cross it. How do they do this? Longer rope. Fail after fail. This is what skipping's about though, man. Never quitting, right? 12 seconds later. Uh, I'm calling it a day. Alright, if you're trying this at home for the first time like I am, it's hard. That's all I've got to say, it's hard. Would that cross? Would that, would that, can I go around that? <laughs> Put it that way. Ah, ah, get over. All right, listen, anyway, that was sick. Respect, Megan. Got some skills. Mad boss. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much again to Megan. Really cool move. Uh, we're going to showcase another jump roper from the community. And uh, yeah, as always, if you want to get involved, please, please, please do post your videos online. Social media, Instagram is the best place. Hashtag jump rope lab. That will give me a chance to sort of see your videos, hopefully. And yeah, showcase you on the channel. And um, yeah, try and grow this movement, try and promote skipping, try and make people feel better about themselves like we always do, man. So thank you so much for watching. See you all next time. Peace.